What's up guys, Sahab Man back with another review. Today we are taking a look at NECA's brand new, this is definitely a homage to Kenner's old school action figures. We're taking a look at the Aliens, Ninomorph Alien. On the left and on the right, we have Predator, the ultimate Alien Hunter Predator. Now again, these are vintage style figures. Not just the card backs, but the actual figures themselves are pretty much like like imitations of the original Predator and Alien figures. The card is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the artwork. You can see the Predator there. They even added that little uh, blast effect in the back of the card. Definitely gonna keep the cards. I love how these look. And on the back, I mean, they've done this before. NECA's done this before, showing off the, uh, the retro style, you know, the way they display the figures. This is how they used to have them, you know, back in the Kenner days. But there is a little bit of a read up there. They have the Nino Morph here, and it says Classic Series. The other figures that are seen on there are from, are they actually six to seven inch scale figures. Uh, here's the Aliens card. The artwork for the Nino Morph looks great. It says with retractable jaw and baby Nino Morph. The Predator one is with removable mask and spring activated cannon. And then here in the back, you see the Classic Series is a Predator. A little bit of a read up there. And then all of the other, you know, NECA products that are from you know the, the vintage style figures and then over here it shows you the uh the play effect or what do you what would you call it the the little action feature that this figure has but let's go ahead and open these up and take a close look at both of the figures and see if they're pickups or pass all right guys so here we have the ninomorph <laughs> this guy i mean wasn't really i think this was from you guys have to correct me on this one I'm pretty sure this was from the pre Alien Covenant. That's the name of the movie, Alien Covenant. I think this is from Alien Covenant. If not, it's probably from Prometheus. But I think this is from Alien Covenant. If I'm if I'm correct, I didn't really care for that movie a whole lot. But I had to pick up this figure because I think it looks great. I love the card on it, and I just love retro style figures. And it's a really cool take on this character. But I do like the paint apps on it. It's got like a white with a little bit of pinkish purple on there very limited in articulation you can see look at the long hands there he's got a lot of different fingers so you can see the bottom i love the uh, coloring that they used on the palms and on the feet he does have a peg there and then you have his tail here is it a bendy wire no no bendy wire the spikes on him on the back they're not like a i mean they are i guess like maybe soft rubber but they are a little bit sharp He's very limited in articulation. I mean, obviously, because this is a retro style figure, but he does have an action feature. So you push the inner jaw in. Look at how big that thing is. Just push this all the way in. You got to put some force in it. Let me see if I can do this right. There you go. So that's what it looks like with the jaw in. And then when you move the arm, this is what makes the spring pop out. So just push that in and then push the arm down or up. It's up or down. I don't think it's in all the way. Let's try again. There we go. And there you go. That's the action feature that this guy has. Um, as far as articulation goes for this little guy, the legs do go forward and back. That's about it. There's no articulation in the head. The arms kind of go forward and back. At least the left one does. The right one doesn't because of the action feature that it does for the inner jaw. But overall, I do think the look of this is very, very nice. If you kind of do it like this, it almost looks like this little guy is swimming. But there is a Ninomorph, and of course, he does come with the baby Ninomorph as well, which looks pretty funny. Now, this is going to be the figure you want. Um, so we have the bottom of the legs. You can see the armor, the, the toes, and you have the skin texture. Look at that. Massive quads. You got the loincloth here. It's uh, kind of like a soft rubber material there. Whoa, look at that. See, this almost broke off. This almost broke off. Okay, it didn't. the glue didn't come off completely, but that's what I'm telling you. They got some QC issues. Um, you have the uh, open mouth here, which looks fantastic. Look at the detailing on the head sculpt. I love the, the, the red that they used in the mouth. Um, you have the armor. You can see some more of the, uh, the texture on the skin. The skin color looks, coloring looks great. You got some red there. Very, very cool. There's the wrist guards. Or the armor for the wrists. This is where you're going to peg the, the blade. There's the back of Predator. And then you have the dreadlocks here, which is just, mm, it's pretty much all glued together. I wouldn't even try messing with that because they could break off. Now, as far as his art articulation goes, we'll go over that really quick. He does have rotation in the head sculpt. The arms just go forward and back. So your standard vintage figure articulation, that's, that. that's all you're going to get with this guy. Uh, let's see if his uh, mask actually sits on let's test this out here pretty sure it's sh this should actually fit on 
there you go. There he is with his mask. So it isn't, now I guess it kind of goes in all the way pretty well. And then you can put on his little cannon. So you could just slide that right in the peg. Oh, see, look at his mask falls right off when you put that on. So let's see if there's a way I can. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to try to put this on with the cannon. I don't know if it's going to interfere with it. Okay, there we go. So that's what he looks like. And then we'll put the blade on the wrist. There we go. Look at that. And there he is, fully armored up. This guy looks amazing. And then we'll put his little blast effect in here, his little weapon. Pop that in. There, there we go. Oh, got you guys. And there you go, guys. There is my review. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Toys Classic Series. We have the aliens on the left, Ninomorph with baby Ninomorph, and we have the Predator on the right. This is the Berserker Predator. Now, I... Not sure if a lot of people are going to want to pick these up because of the retro, you know, feel for it. And there's, there is a lot of people who don't like the retro, you know, action figures. I grew up with these, so I absolutely love these. The Ninomorph's okay. The Ninomorph's okay. Um, the Predator definitely brings back a lot of memories. It definitely has that retro feel to it, the old school feel to it. So I absolutely love this. I'm really anxious to see if, you know, they're going to take this line further. Like, I would love to see the Terminator figures done in this style. I mean, I would even love to see some of the horror figures done in this style, even though they've never done horror figures like this before. But you guys in the comments below really want to know your thoughts on this one. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? If you own these, let me know your thoughts overall. And what characters would you like to see made NECA make in this style? Let me know down below, guys. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Later. Ha <laughs> ha